Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Yick, the Dancing Avon Lady, and today is another episode of What's For Dinner. So, growing up in a restaurant, uh, one of my chores was that I had to help make wontons. So wontons, if you've never had it, it's like, um, it's kind of like a dumpling that has a wrapper and it's usually in soup. And so we'd sold a lot of wonton soup, and so one of Jessie's chores was to make wontons. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to kind of show you how it's done, or if I hopefully that I remember how it's done. It's been a while. So the ingredients list isn't huge. All you need is um, a meat base. So what I have today is I have a mix of lean ground pork and lean ground chicken. So the wontons doesn't only have to be meat based. I mean, I'm just doing a meat based one today because I don't have any of the usual paired vegetables for it. Um, you can add in like like really finely diced water chestnuts. Um, you can put in like watercress, you can do leeks, um, napa. I just don't have any of those vegetables on hand. So today we're doing a pure meat one and then we're just going to have some vegetables on the side. So all you need is you need your meat, you need wonton wrappers, which I'm gonna be using ones that are made in squares like this. All right, these are fresh, so they're not frozen. You can get them in most Asian grocery stores. Um, and then you have your spices. So I'm using ground ginger, salt, garlic, an egg, some onion powder, pepper, sesame oil, and a bit of sugar. So we're adding some salt. Some garlic powder. ground ginger, some onion powder, some pepper, some sugar, I'm adding an egg. Sesame oil. And some cornstarch. And you mix it up. well mixed so you might be mixing for a good couple of minutes um, because well I, I don't want the texture to be too too gritty I want it to kind of be kind of smooth you get a good arm workout on this <laughs> all right wonton wrappers is don't let it dry out if you are making it and you find that it is starting to dry out and what that means is like it's starting to crack or it's not as as flexible right what you do is you stick it onto a microwavable plate put a slightly damp towel clean towel on top of it like a cheesecloth or something and then put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds 10 to 15 seconds it'll just help soften and bring the moisture back into the wrappers so you take the wrapper, you just put a little bit of meat on the corner, like so. All right, then you put your chopstick on like this, fold it over, twist, and then it kind of looks like a I don't know, burrito maybe? Pull the chopstick out, take the end, fold it upwards to the top of the cone, like so. All right, so you tuck it in, and you tuck in the top, and there you go. My first little wonton in, oh God, how many years? I haven't made this in probably 10 years, maybe more. Ta-da! Looks like a little diaper, how cute. Thank you. 
Alright, so we have let that come to a boil twice after adding about a cup of water each time it comes to a boil. So essentially it's boiled three times. It should be cooked. You want to take this out of the hot water so it doesn't overcook. Oh my gosh, they look so juicy and plump and delish. <gasps> I'm just excited. Honey, are you excited? I'm very excited. Mmm, he's very excited. How about wontons? I can't wait to try it. Oh my goodness, does that not look yum, yum, yum? Oh my gosh, they look so good. Don't they look legit? Oh, look at how plump and yummy they look. So, cheers. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to just call Hoya hao gum, which means it has like, it has a nice mouth feel. That's the literal translation of it. But it's flavored so nicely. If you like it salty, you can always add in more salt. It's. Mm. Oh, that ginger and sesame oil tastes awesome. You can make a dip with it too. Um, I'll do another video and I'll. And I'll post a, a, a video on how to make a, a special dumpling dip too, but it's so good. And you know, just using fresh, fresh, fresh wrappers, it's like key. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -mm -mm. Also very hot. <laughs> so, anyways, that's it for this video. We're gonna go have dinner. Thanks so much for watching guys, and if you're new to my channel, please feel free to subscribe, click that subscribe button, and if you enjoyed this video, give me a big fat thumbs up, until next time, see you later, bye! Mm, that's so good.